good evening everybody and welcome to the video in this video we are about to build a real time streaming pipeline so insert update deletes are happening on our dynamo db uh, table um and basically we are going to use a lambda function and dynamo db stream to stream these events into a kinesis the lambda function is responsible for pre processing data flattening complex structure and once we have it in kinesis we will use uh, apache flink so we are going to use that through a kinesis data analytics we are going to use flink to read the streaming data and then perform an upsort on the data lake uh, which is our hoodie transactional data lake we'll also learn how to query this streaming data uh, with athena so uh, again we are going to run a ddl statement and then we are going to query this data all of that is there in this video so let's get started straight into action just wanted to walk over the architecture insert update delete might happen on dynamo lambda function pre processes the kinesis will get the data and then basically we are going to use flink and we're going to insert that data into um, s3 our hoodie transactional data lake so that is what we are about to build in this entire project just wanted to let you know that the entire project has uh, you know a readme file as everything so all the steps are listed here with the code so i think it should be pretty straightforward for you guys to follow as well okay so just wanted to let you guys know so the first step is we're going to deploy the entire stack so here you can see i have a lambda function called um, orders right and the lambda function is pretty straightforward what it does is basically the job of the function is to uh, receive data from dynamo db stream and if it's an insert update delete uh, it's going to read the data flatten out the data and convert dynamo json into a regular standard json once that is done here essentially we are going to and uh, do a put record into kinesis so the lambda function as i mentioned is going to take the data from dynamo uh, streams and essentially insert into kinesis stream now back to my serverless.yml file here is a dynamo db table again a very simple you know uh, a resource object right where i'm essentially creating a dynamo db table over here you will observe a kinesis stream where i'm using um, a provision mode i'm using one shard for now and here is the glue database so let's deploy the stack so come to the project directory and say npx sls deploy i'll resume once the stack is deployed since the stack is now deploying what we can do is uh, we can deploy these two jar file on s3 these are needed um, these are essentially hoodie connector and uh, flink s3 uh, fs hadoop so go to the link and a jar file will be downloaded on an s3 bucket uh, create a folder called jar and then upload these two files over here let's verify quickly so here you can see i have a database called stream db where which was deployed through the stack now going to the kinesis you should have a kinesis data stream uh, if i refresh shortly and i'm in the wrong region so i'm going to switch to uh, us east one and then i should see my kinesis stream if i go to dynamo i should see my dev dot um, should see my table shortly again i'm in the wrong region uh, so i'm going to switch to us east one and here you can see dev dot order So the stack is complete. Now we have to create a Kinesis data analytics application, essentially Flink. So I'm gonna walk you over the process. I already have a Flink notebook, but I'm simply gonna walk you over the process as well. So now I'm in the Kinesis analytics application. Click on Create Studio, and then click on Custom, and then here give it a name. You can give any any name that you want. Click on Next. Uh, select your database Stream DB. That's the one we had, right? Now I'm just gonna select that. then click on next and then here uh what you need to do is you need to add those connectors so you're going to click on add connector and then remember you uploaded those jar files on s3 you got to uh, select that so i'm going to select the first one and then i'm going to select uh probably the next one again this is just me showing you the process okay and once done you can click on next and create kinesis data analytics i have already created that so probably usually it takes time so i'm going to simply start my notebook so now i'm going to click on open apache zeppelin notebook over here next step is pretty straight forward we need to create two tables one for kinesis one for hudi and then we're going to start our flink flink job uh so i'm going to share my screen and here you can see i'm going to set um flink conf execution checkpoint interval to 5000 and here if you observe and again these uh, commands are given on the get up step by step here i'm creating a table called orders and here you can see i'm using the kinesis connector and similarly now i'm creating a table called orders and the connector i'm using is hudi and this is the path for my data lake i'm using a more version and that's basically it so i'm going to run this 
Uh, once you execute this cell and here you can see uh, if you now head over to the glue console you will see uh, you will see basically these tables being created i'm on the wrong region so i'm gonna again switch back to my ust one so now if i go to the database section on the stream i should see my two tables being created now it's time to execute everything in action so before that i'm gonna show i don't have anything on s3 as you can see I don't have anything on DynamoDB as well, as you can see. Now, what we'll do is basically in the in the project, you'll be given a file called DynamoDB insert.py. And basically, we're going to insert uh, 100 records into DynamoDB. So our anticipation is now the Lambda will process, will basically go into Kinesis, and then we'll start our Flink application. So I'm going to start this, OK? Again, we are inserting data into DynamoDB. And after every two or three seconds, as you can see, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the cell. So this particular cell, I will start this. And here you can see my Flink application has now started. So again, as you can see, a data is coming into DynamoDB at this point, right? Um, uh, right. So I just wanted to show you that uh, we are constantly inserting data into DynamoDB. If I head over to the S3, I do not see anything right now. But if I refresh, now I see a folder called temp. I see certain folders right now. This is the hoodie metadata. And within a second or two, I should be seeing the base file and the parquet file. Again, my job is still running. Again, as you can see, that is the Kinesis um, uh, data analytics. And here is the Zeppelin notebook. And here you can see we are reading from the order table. Um, sorry, we are inserting into the order tables. And we are selecting from the TBL underscore order. Observe carefully, TBL underscore order is, uh, we are using a Kinesis connector, and this one over here, we are using a Hodi connector. Observe carefully. So all we are doing is we are, you know, inserting into that table. Now, you know, everything has been taken care. It's a managed service, so I don't need to worry about scaling and other issues. Of course, you can configure uh, other uh, hyperparameters. And again, as you can see, we are constantly inserting data into Dynamo at this point. And, and sure enough, we should see data in S3 coming in uh, shortly. So I'm going to come here, try to refresh. And there you go. Here, here you can see these are um, metadata, the log files. And after a certain time, it's going to, you know, um, it's going it, to, you'll see all the parquet files coming in shortly. So just be patient for about a minute or two, and you should be seeing all your parquet files. So now, once that is done, now what we need to do is basically, uh, I'll show you how to query the data using Athena, okay? Uh, if you observe, the job is still running, and now, uh, sure enough, I do see some parquet files, and um, things are working great, right? The entire pipeline that I described over here is working absolutely fantastic. So let me stop this, okay? Now, the next step in the process is you want to query this data in Athena, right? So again, everything will be given to you, so you don't have to worry, right? So now we'll come to Athena and here and under the database called StreamDB, you will create a table. So again, if it is hard to see, I'll essentially put this in Notepad and I'll try my best to show you. Again, observe carefully, create external table. These are the columns for hoodie metadata. And here I'm defining the data points that I have in my data. Order ID, customer, priority, times, um, TS, and that's a timestamp, right? And here you can see uh, that's the location where my uh, Blake uh, relies. Uh, or basically hoodie data lake, right? So now I can run this. I should see a new table called non-partition more and I can click on preview and basically I should see all my data. Now you can build dashboards using QuickSight, analyze data, run ad hoc queries and do pretty much anything that you like. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed this demo and if you really, really enjoy these labs and demo with all the code is given to you, right? Please, please, please try this out. Spend some time this weekend Try to download the code and try to do this by yourself. I'm sure you'll love it. That's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to like, subscribe and also share the video to the people whom you think this resource might find useful. Thank you. Keep smiling, keep programming and see you guys next time.